Hi everyone, I'm Jen Pike, registered holistic nutritionist and author of The Simplicity Project. I'm also the founder of Simplicity Yoga and Fitness Therapy Studio and a mom to two very busy children. What I love the most about working in this industry is the ability that I have to do things like I'm about to right now with you to help to teach you how to add more simplicity and ease into your kitchen, into your home, and essentially into all that you do. It's sometimes challenging for me as a nutritionist to always give out recipe upon recipes because so often I open up my fridge, I see what colorful items I have, I add some different texture, and I just start to build and create. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do with you guys today. So I've got some organic greens here that I'm gonna start as my base. You could do just plain spinach, you could add some arugula in. I've got a mixed variety here, but I love adding sprouts and different shoots into it as well because it just adds so much more tense, or, um, density rather and texture and lots of color. So I've got some sprouts here and you can just grab a generous handful and start to layer that in. And it's already so pretty just being this vibrant green on its own. And I really love to serve a lot of my salads out of white dishes because the color really pops and stands up from there. So your greens are gonna be a really rich source of a lot of phytonutrients, super alkalizing for your body and your system, loaded with lots of minerals as well, especially calcium. And you're getting in some folate and some incredible easy plant digestible sources of iron as well. So we're getting some shoots in here. This is easy enough that you can be letting your kids do this with you in the kitchen as well, because really how badly can they mess up adding in some lettuce and some greens into your dishes for you? So it's a really easy one and they love to get their hands involved. So. You can already see how pretty that is. Now, some of you might just decide that you love to have this as your salad and add a dressing. I'm gonna add a little bit more flavor to this and a little bit more in terms of color. What most motivates me on a daily or weekly basis to keep moving along on my chosen path? The people I'm surrounded by. I mean, my family first and foremost, you know, my children and my husband and, and my dog Charlie, um, but for me, Owning a yoga and Pilates studio and being in front of people every day who are on this quest themselves for eating healthier and moving their body and just feeling more grounded and having less stress, it keeps me educated and inspired. I always say to my students that, you know, they look at me at the front of the room like the teacher, but I'm the eternal student because I learn from them every single time that I teach. So I think just being in the industry alone is what keeps me on that path. So what I'm going to start with is I'm just going to slice up some cucumber. Again, when you're adding in different vegetables and even fruits into your salad, it doesn't matter the size that you put in there. So you can cube it up, you can thinly slice it up. So I'm going to thinly slice and then I'm going to cut it again in half. And then I'm just gonna toss it on top. So again, so so far this is looking fairly non-intimidating and very easy to be able to do in your kitchen. I've got some leftover roasted vegetables, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of broccoli and a little bit of cauliflower. So don't be afraid to mix your raw vegetables with some cooked vegetables. Great way to add in a lot of different flavor and when you only have, like here I had two pieces of broccoli left over and two pieces of cauliflower. Some people might waste that. They might put it into the compost or just let it sit in the fridge waiting for a new opportunity to use it. This is your opportunity. Just start to take what you've got and add it in. Now if you've got picky eaters at home, which even though I'm a nutritionist, I still have some picky eaters in my house, um, you just simply say to them, just pick out what it is that you don't want. In our house, I don't ever teach the kids that it's about finishing every single thing that's on their plate, but we have a rule of three. You've gotta try something three times before you can say yay or nay. Is there any one person, group, or organization that inspires me? I would have to most definitely go back to one of my teachers when I was in school for nutrition, Carolyn DuPont. Um, she was just so inspiring to me and really took me under her wing and I spent a lot of time in her home learning how to prepare food. So she was, I think, my first in terms of food. 
Um, Teresa, who owns a local yoga studio, Yoga Source in Newmarket, was a big influence for me in yoga that way. And then so many people that are out there that are trailblazers and crusaders. Chris Carr, who writes about stuff, you know, Dr. Mark Hyman, and just everyone that I'm out there that's seeing that is leading the path and pushing forward and, um, you know, not being afraid of saying things that aren't necessarily the status quo and who are really passionate about education. So for me, that's so important is educating families and parents and consumers about what they're actually providing their body. Some, you know, chefs or cooks would tell you not to combine certain herbs. I, usually it's a free for all for me. I look at what looks really pretty and what looks really fresh in the store and I grab it and I just start to experiment and throw some different things in. So I've got the chives in. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh thyme as well. You're going to essentially shuck the herb off of the stem. Uh, you can, you know, maybe give that to your guest after dinner to clean their teeth, but I wouldn't wanna be chewing on that in my salad. And I've got some rosemary, which I love rosemary. I do a lot of rosemary when I'm roasting different vegetables and sometimes even fruit. So we've got those herbs in there. Now I've got some really delicious leftover pear. I just have one half lonely pear that's left from baking some fruit the other night, um, roasting it in the oven. So I'm gonna slice this up. If you've never baked or roasted fruit before, oh my gosh, it is so delicious. Probably one of the healthiest types of desserts that you can make. Sometimes drizzle a little bit of raw honey over it and it is amazing. You can make little fruit kebabs for your kids too. Uh, different ones on there. So we've got that in, and now I have only four strawberries left right now. So I'm just gonna use these four strawberries and it is smelling amazing. I know unfortunately for you, you can't smell through the screen, but it smells so good in my kitchen right now. And that is always the mark of something incredible that's gonna happen as well. So I've got about eight little cherry tomatoes here. I'm gonna slice those in half. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange pepper on here not a ton and so i'm obviously not a sous chef it's really rough chops and that is okay i've yet to have someone come in and judge <laughs> my chopping abilities all right so there we are at this point so this is all look at how many elements of produce are in here this is unbelievable this right here i mean that's probably more vegetables than the average person is getting in an entire day and this is happening in one salad bowl if I could give viewers one suggestion to positively impact their lives, I think the first thing I would say is start to hydrate your body. I think it is one of the most simplified steps that we can take every single day that we really overlook the importance of. So getting enough clean, purified water into our bodies. You know, I mean, that's helping with so many of our daily processes, but most importantly, it's helping with our level of energy. It's very, very difficult to have the motivation to be in the kitchen preparing a meal or to go and exercise if you are so exhausted exhausted that it just feels like the hugest challenge so I think that if people could just start to give themselves a chance to drink more water more often the difference they would feel in that one simple task would be unbelievable so now we're gonna add the crunch factor we're gonna add in some healthy fat some protein some zinc some selenium some other minerals so I've got some raw pecans and I'm just gonna take a little bit here and I'm gonna crush them in my hands now you can use whatever nut or seed you like there is no wrong combination um, and then I'm gonna add in some raw pumpkin seeds as well so another little hit of pretty green color some sunflower seeds now if you have nut or seed allergies in your household then you're probably going to omit this but you could get some healthy fat into your salad by choosing different types of oils or adding some avocado in there and we've got some hemp which i love hemp all right so those are my crunch factor accessories i'm going to add a little hit of sweet by just putting some organic raisins on top you could be doing dried cranberries you could do some goji berries although i find them a bit chewy in a salad um, or you could do some cranberries as well so we've got that in look how pretty the only sad thing about making a salad is it looks so beautiful now and then you toss it and all the pretty ingredients are going to sink down to the bottom so i'm going to put this offside this will end up going into my fridge until later and i'm going to show you how i make a really easy and really delicious salad dressing where do I hope to see myself in the next five years in my career? Uh, I just actually asked this question to viewers on my social media platform and it was incredible and then I got the question asked back to me. So what I said, and I, I still wholeheartedly feel this, is in the next five years I would love to be able to, with my family, travel globally 
learning more about the foundation of our food, our source, how it's being grown and going into different areas around the world and teaching and inspiring people how to literally get their hands into the earth, into the food that they're cooking and preparing, teach them how to eat in a way that's not going to cost them an inordinate amount of money and to allow my children to be able to see the level of depth that we can create and uh, you know I'd love to have a tutor come with us and enrich my kids lives geographically with what we're surrounded by and then eventually find a climate that's nice and warm to live in year-round and for my husband and I to run our businesses from there and, and for me that means just continuing to build on education and inspiring people to bring more simplicity into their lives. I've already got some organic olive oil that's here in my mason jar and I don't think you can have enough mason jars in your house. They're easy for everything. I'm going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So I'm not a huge measurer as you've seen as I've been making this I've yet to pull out a measuring instrument. I just use my eyes and then I use my taste buds and then I adjust from there another element of simplicity. I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup. Now you could do maple syrup, you could also do some raw honey that you could add in there just for a little bit of sweetness and then I'm going to add in some Dijon. Some Dijon mustard. So Dijon's going to give it a little hit, some spice. Sometimes the kids will say, did you put something spicy in here? And I play dumb and I say, no, there's nothing in there. That's the exact same that I've made it every single time. And so then you just pop your lid on. Now you can squeeze in some fresh orange juice into there, some fresh lemon, lime, however you like it. You can even throw in some sesame oil or a bit of tamari, but there you go. That's your dressing done and this will sit in the fridge and last you for a good solid five days. The only thing left to do is add some fresh ground pepper and a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. And now all I have to do is put these two into my fridge and my family is going to enjoy this salad of simplicity later on tonight with something else additional to it. I hope that's inspired you to get into your kitchen, to open up your fridge, to just throw caution to the wind, find some color, find some crunch, add some healthy fat, put it into a plate and start to create. Have a fantastic day.